welcomes you to the lecture to learn MongoDB. So in this session our object is to learn how a MongoDB server is started or how it is deployed and used in our machine. So the example which I am going to use over here is, uh, uh, is from the Mac. So what we are doing here is Mongo has two stuff. So if you are coming from a relational database background you can connect it easily otherwise um, I'll just let you know. So there are two things. First is your MongoD process which is the server. So database has a server and a client. Now server is something which uh, stores the data which do the query for you and then gives you the result whatever the cursor whatever you you need to use and client is the one who is trying to connect so there is whenever we talk about client uh, server relationship there has to be a server and there could be multiple clients so we are trying to do that same thing in oracle you can just do mysql uh, in mysql you do you know mysql d d is the database process and then by mysql or sql plus you connect to the client so same by doing mongo you are going to run your uh, client so i believe you have successfully installed your mongod uh, mongodb and once after doing that what we are going to do is to start the mongo server so if your class path and everything is set then uh, once you do a mongod on your command prompt it would uh, start and it would give you some of the logs so whatever uh, uh, query you are doing this is basically the log this is a process which runs over here and then uh, it goes through mongodb started this is the process id this one is the port so if you just do mongod it takes up the default port you can always change the port by giving it the options for mongod and then you can give different port if you want it to run somewhere else than the default port. Then it also speaks about the journal uh, where it is going to write. So we have slash data slash db in which everything is returned. Whatever the logs and op logs and so this is called as a journal where in the intermediate data before it really gets executed inside your server all the information goes in the journal. Journal uh, is you know a kind of mid place which is between the client and the server where everything is written down and then gets executed on the actual database. So uh, this is um, other journal information and then uh, this is how it works uh, the MongoD. Now uh, another interesting thing is if you try to run two Mongo uh, D process on the same port you would get an error. So the error over here is it says it exited basically, right? It tried first, the log says it tried to run it over here. It would tell you the version, but then you cannot run it because it's already in use, the same thing. If you change port, it can. So once we learn about the replication set, we will uh, you know, understand about that later, but uh, simple steps first. So we are able to run a MongoD process. Now we need to access it. For that I am uh, using another uh, terminal over here and it's super simple to access Mongo to you know use through Mongo client. You just need to type Mongo and as soon as it connects uh, it, it says you that connection has been accepted from whatever IP and then its sub process now one connection is open so for security purpose you should know this information if you don't know and someone is trying to connect then uh, you know you will get hey I see two connections but I have one client who is the other guy who is trying to evas dropping me that can help you second thing is uh, if too many connections are opened too many clients are talking it can degrade your MongoD process um, performance so you just need to make sure that uh, you don't uh, allow whatever number of connections you can monitor with this. So for this I open another tab and then I'm trying to do a mongo again 
and now I have got two connections open as soon as I do a control C this gets closed now I would just have the one connection open so this is how MongoD and Mongo uh, works so uh, just to keep it simple and just to recap everything to run a server of Mongo you can type MongoD and it would spun the server if it's not already running and then to connect the client you just have to type mongo and then it would give you the shell so this is how uh, it works there are a couple of other ways if you have your mongo uh, installed and it is running in background as a service you don't have to do mongod it's already running in the background so as soon as you uh, open any terminal and do a mongo your clients get connected but I would prefer for the learning purpose that you start and stop it manually so that it's more on your control rather than relying on the background service to do the job for you. So uh, thanks uh, for watching this. In next lecture we would try and we'll find how to see database, access database and uh, other useful commands and information.